In this room, we have three security cameras looking at you right now. Can you spot them? So you might have an Arlo, a Nest Cam, a Wise Cam, which we just covered, or something else. And today we're gonna to be talking about seven different tips on how to hide those cameras around your house. So there's a lot of reasons to hide your security cameras around your house. If someone's breaking in, that's probably one of the first things they're gonna to try to steal. Another reason is that if you're at someone's house and there's a security camera just in your face, or even at your own house, it can make you feel a little uncomfortable. Smile, a nanny camera. Ah. So no matter where you go, we'll be watching you. Yeah, it's crazy that came out 18 years ago. I feel pretty old. We're gonna be covering seven different ways to hide those cameras around your house. We're also gonna be covering mini Wi-Fi cam at the end. And we're gonna be doing a little mini review, tiny short review at the end. So the first thing we wanna talk about how to hide a security camera is with skins. Arlo, for example, it's a really beautiful camera, but the white just kind of sticks out a little bit. So you can buy inexpensive skins and these can go on uh, your camera and we'll have links in the description below and they can make it blend in to the surroundings a lot easier. Let's show you some different examples of how to hide those. From this view, do you see where the camera is hidden? Give you a second to look. So we're going to go in on it. It's actually up in the tree and this is a pretty cool place to put a security camera because you can have it look back and see license plates. It can also see more angles of your house. Back to that first video we showed you of three cameras hidden in this room. So the first one, we're gonna go up and it's in a plant. And this is using another skin and this is up high in a plant. So making it up high is also really helpful. You'll want to use some kind of built-in stand where it can kind of look down if it's up high. Like with the Arlo, you might need something else. You can kind of put stuff to prop it up, but a lot easier just to get something like this little stand and you can have it point down. That's what we're using. The second one in this room, it's in the stuffed animal. And this one, it's actually a little creepy. You know, it's right there in the eye and our little girl is a little freaked out by it. And I, don't blame her, it's like this Terminator eye or something looking out and there's a nest cam in there. Blends in pretty well, I mean, if you have some stuffed animals, you have some kids, this is a nice way to hide a security camera. Just get an old stuffed animal, a cut out an eye or something. The only issue is obviously kids, if you put it down low like this, they might try to go play with it and there's a cord attached to it. So the next camera, you can probably guess where it's hidden. There's not too many places to hide it right here. It is right there in the birdhouse. This birdhouse is not painted right now. It's a little craft that you can get at Walmart for about five or six bucks, but it is a really good size because you can fit an Arlo in there really easy. It comes glued to the top, but you can easily pop that off. Now we'll get to the last camera hidden in that room and it's actually in the bookshelf. The mini cam is so small, it can just go right there in between a couple books. You won't even notice it. Even if you were up close, it would be really hard to see this thing. So the mini cam is a really good example of, you know, you just throw it pretty much anywhere on that bookshelf and it's gonna blend in. Now, there's one other place that we hid this. And if you're looking right here, try to guess where it's hidden and it's in the tissue box. You've probably seen hiding security cameras in a tissue box. Super easy, you know, it's a box, it's really cheap. You can make it, you know, have tissues in there, but it's, it's a little more difficult if you have like a yellow tissue box and you have a hole cut in it and you have a camera sticking out and you're trying to make it blend in. So we did a pretty crappy job putting some black construction paper, trying to blend in that hole. You could probably do a little bit better job than us. Now I want to talk more about the mini cam. When you unbox this thing, it has a bunch of accessories, like little magnetic mounts that you can do, like a clip and a ball and 
ring stand that are all magnetic. It's kind of cool. This thing takes a micro SD card. It is only compatible up to 32 gigs. They say it's up to 128 gigs. Must be some kind of software flaw because I tried to put a 64 gig card in there and it didn't work. So I had to put in a smaller card. This has night vision. It's nine, yeah, 960p. It's Wi-Fi, so you can download the app. You can view the footage uh, locally or remotely. This is a really good little device for hiding in little spots. It would be kind of harder to hide like a bigger camera, but the software on this thing is not that great. Every time you boot up the camera, it resets your settings. It has a little battery in it, it lasts about an hour, so you pretty much have to have it always plugged in, which isn't that big of a deal. There's a few other little quirks with it. It does have night vision, but it turns on night vision just way too easily. You can't you know, manually override. So in all the footage you'll be seeing <laughs> there, it's always night vision, even though it's really bright in the room. The mini cams display works pretty well. It's very responsive. I mean, the, the live feed is almost maybe like a half second or a second delay, not, not too long at all. I feel like this is kind of one of those things you kind of plug it in, forget about it. If you don't want it in plain sight, this is a good alternative. It's not the best quality compared to other cameras out there. So hopefully you found some ideas on how to hide a security camera around your house. If you did find it helpful, if you could give it a thumbs up, we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, the stuffed animal cam is getting a little too creepy. Daddy loves you. Daddy needs a hug.